Hi, and welcome to That's So Nova. I'm Nova. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I am actually making the rosy crossbody. Um, I have like this Disney bound in my head and I was making it with some rose gold and having some fun with cork. And then it hit me that I wanted to show you how to install a, or how I install a, um, turn lock. This turn lock is from Serial Bag Maker. I'm going to put them, these pieces down here on the, on the mat so you can see. Um, this is a force fit. So what happens is there is a male and there is a female and they, they fit together. In order to make it work, you need a mallet and I actually recommend doing it on concrete. But because I'm doing it for video sake, we're going to when we do the hit this with the mallet and hopefully not hit my fingers on camera. I'm gonna use a rubber mat underneath so it can help absorb the shock and sound. Because it's like eight o'clock and I don't want my neighbors to be like, what are they doing in the basement? <laughs> to um to cut out the hole, I use a box cutter and a cutting mat. Now in the rosy for swoon, it tells you to place your, um, I'm going to say the exact thing on it versus me just telling you, <laughs> I believe on the flap, you're supposed to put your magnet 2.5, 2.2 and one fourth inches up. And then on the bottom have this at two inches. I have a gray chalk line. If you see down the center. So I, instead of sometimes doing what the pattern says, I would like to see where I want to place my um grommet my force fit thing and then i will go in and place the mail the lining is not fully in so i can do this so at this time i'm going to take the wider and the wider piece which is the female piece and kind of just like eyeball where i want the grommet i keep saying it the turn lock um and from there uh you could take a pen what whatever you have and just trace out what you're gonna have to cut out what i like about the force fit grommet is that you don't have to worry about punching holes for screws or any of that that just makes your life a whole lot better i am going to now take a, a sharp box cutter and a ruler and I'm going to cut through the layers of the flap. I know this could be daunting, but take your time. It's worth it. And then I just grab a pair of scissors and anything that didn't come out, cut out, I just will cut through it real quickly. Most of the stuff came out, but there's always a little bit of a straggler, a little straggles. And it might be too small the first time I have done this where it is, and that's okay. You can definitely make it a little bit bigger but you want it to be kind of snug so the, the force fit grommet doesn't just like slide out so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger take your time it's it's not a race it's, it's it takes a while to get exactly what you want and it's okay so take your time because at the end of the day you want really nice results okay i'm going to see if my grommet will fit here and it just needs a little bit more oh we try to use your ruler when you're using a box cutter because you don't want it to where you're going too far down or 
going too far up and then you have to be like putting a patch on your, your make. Okay. And I'm just cleaning up, making sure that all the little straggles of fabric are done. Then I'm just going to flip this over and it will fit nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue. Some This is Magnetac 809 would be good if you have Fray Check. I'm pretty sure if you look at Cereal Bag Makers, she does have glues of some sort that can help if you're using cotton to stop fraying. And I'm going to force, push down. I'm sorry, I was looking for a Something I go push down fabric and not cut my fingers. <laughs> Perfect. And then I'm going to grab this. Okay. So I'm going to wipe off this glue that was on my fingers and I'm going to bring over my mat. It's a rubber mat, a cutting mat, which I am pretty sure that they and does carry in her shop. I purchased this mallet, great mallet. And what I normally like to do is take a piece of fabric and put it over so it doesn't scratch because I'm going to hit it. It only needs a couple of good wax, but make sure this is a grommet, so I gotta make sure I get certain sides more than the other. And I'm just gonna bring it to the front. I'm gonna have to definitely clean it up with a little alcohol wipe to remove all the glue, because I'm like, a, you, you know me, I love glue. I'm just gonna that's not going anywhere okay um and then you can just get a glue wipe not glue wipe but an alcohol wipe and just remove any excess glue that's on the hardware i just don't want to scratch it because this rose gold is fantastic the reason why i do my feet my female first before i do my male is now i can have the bag sit in it's natural because this ha this has already been top stitch if the lining is not is open so i can put it but I want this to fit nicely so I'm gonna see where it now see where it naturally sits and then I'm going to make a small mark just a horizontal mark right there I'm going to take the mill portion and where are my pliers there we are and I'm going to open this up Take the washer off and then I'm going to mark on my bag where these prongs are because I'm going to make a little bit of a slit and more glue of course. I'm going to take my lining and make sure it's out of the way. I use Bouncy Firm if you're wondering how this the shape of this rosy looks like this. I didn't use foam. I used the Bouncy Firm and it's one of my favorite. Um, uh, products to purchase because it just it's it works really well so I'm gonna use I'm gonna make sure your hands are out of the way I understand blood sweat and tears go into hard work but uh, we don't need that in the back <laughs> so we're going to put a slit put a slit and from here I just do a line of glue from one one slit to another just uh, extra extra holds and that one in nicely and I'm going to get my washer I'm going to put my washer on there 
And then I'm going to bang the prongs and you can have them either fold towards you or away from you. I personally like when the prongs go away on each side and not fold inside. Again, that's personal preference. Everyone likes something different. And you could just fold it with your pliers. Now you can use, I'm gonna use some electrical tape that I also bought from Cereal Bag Maker. I actually love this. I don't know if you heard me complain before in the past, but duct tape and me, don't get along but this little electrical tape works wonders and it sticks really well you're all it's all filling it out right now so i'm going to put the lining back in before i close up the lining i definitely want to make sure my turn lock fits nice and bada bing bada boom we got a perfect turn lock so it if you have any questions in regards to this turn lock, please leave the questions down, questions down below. I'll be more than willing to answer. I will put information on where to get the mallet, the tape, even the cutting board, and the hardware all come from Serial Bag Maker. And she has really fast shipping, really fair pricing. And I don't know, I, I just really appreciate her materials. So if you have any questions, concerns, or just want to say hi <laughs> leave a comment down below myself or Ann or anybody in this in the group will be more than willing to answer your questions so until the next time we see each other if you could like subscribe and hit that notification bell share everything is worthy I will greatly appreciate it I hope everyone has a fantastic day happy sewing